video and <clears throat> I'm going to be expressing my thoughts on one of my most favorite 2021 sets ever. In fact, maybe even my most favorite. This is the LEGO Looney Tunes minifigure series which releases on April 26th of 2021 and retails for $5 per minifigure. There's a total of 12 minifigures unfortunately and at least these minifigures look really great. And I'm going to be expressing my thoughts on each of these minifigures since they are officially revealed. Go check my go check out my other video about this series where I just take a look at the leaks. But yeah, First of all, I want to start off with the packaging because it looks beautiful. I like the like the um, the greebling details it has like on the on those on the packaging. Like you can see that stuff, the bricks and whatever. That's pretty cool. And then um, yeah, looking at these minifigures, just in general, I love these minifigures. They all look incredible, and I love how cartoony they look. And I think each, I think yeah, this entire series has like at least one mini like. One minifigure has at least one new piece, which is awesome. And I'm glad they did that. And yeah, just in general, just looking at the series, I love the cartoony designs on them. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and express my thoughts. So first one, we have Tweety Bird here, which I like the way it looks. Though I think that, you know, compared to other minifigures, I think that like, maybe it's too small compared to, say, Sylv uh, I mean, sorry, too big compared to Sylvester. I mean... He's Tweety Bird supposed to be a lot smaller, but I don't really know how they'll be able to do that. So I think this is the best way to go. I like the mallet piece, and I think the new head looks pretty nice. This is not one of my favorites, but it still looks okay. Then you have Sylvester the Cat, which also looks pretty cool. Um, not one of my favorites, but still looks quite nice. I do wish he had made a new color for the baseball bat piece, because we never really had a different color for that, and I wish he did that, because... Yeah, I, that would have been nice, but, you know, we already got this new head piece. That's kind of enough, and I like the design on it. Next, we have Marvin the Martian, which I really like the design of. This is one of my favorites. I love how they use mid-legs with printing on the feet, which is pretty awesome. I wish there was torso printing, but I guess it doesn't really need that kind of stuff. And I like the new helmet as well, which looks pretty cool. And his face print also looks quite nice. And I like the ray gun build, but I wish that maybe they included, like, maybe a new ray gun. But this still looks nice, and I really like this minifigure. This is one of my favorites. And then we have Wild E. Coyote, I believe his name is. And I like this one a lot. I like the accessory with the, with the anvil. That looks pretty cool. And I really, really like that head. It looks really nice. And I just like the color scheme on it. And um, yeah, that's it for Wild E. And I think this one's a fine minifigure. It's not one of my favorites, but still pretty cool. Then we have the Roadrunner, which, wow, this one I really, really like. It's, it looks really fun. And cartoony, and well, I guess all these minifigures are fun and cartoony, but you get the point. I really like this one. And yeah, I really like his accessory with birdseed, and I love that new molded head. And I be and I wonder if this part is that the is like a removable piece or if, like is molded onto there. And that head interests me a lot. Like, is that a mold or is that part of the neck or something? That looks pretty cool. And I think that, yeah, it's a pretty smart usage with the chicken costume guy's like arm pieces, which look quite nice. And yeah, this is one of my favorites. I like this one. And we have Bugs Bunny. I really love this one. This is my favorite of the series, actually. Probably him and Daffy. You guys already know that. I really love this design. And one, one complaint with this minifigure, because I think the minifigure itself looks perfect, um, is that he needs um, a more interesting accessory than just a common carrot. I mean, because Daffy has rabbit season, I feel like it would have only been proper for uh, a duck season for <laughs> for um, Bugs Bunny. But yeah, otherwise, still a nice figure. And we have Daffy Duck, who is another really awesome one. I really like the design of it. And I love his rabbit season sign from that one episode where he, he and um, Bugs Bunny were just arguing over which season it is. And I really like that new head. And, um, yeah, the minifigure itself looks cool. And I noticed that a lot of the minifigures have very simple printing. And, um, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of weird, but I still don't mind because it still looks very fun. And I really like the dual-molded legs as well. And then we have this next batch, which has Tasmanian Devil. This is another one of my favorites. This is probably maybe my fourth favorite. Um, that one I really love the design of. I love how they use the uh, that Frozen piece or the that board piece that they use for Frozen in Disney series too, and I think it lo looks really awesome. I love his accessories with the chicken and um, and the pie, 
and I really like that head. <laughs> it looks perfect. It looks perfect. This minifigure is perfect. I love it. And I love how they put the tornado-like area for the piece at the bottom, which just looks perfect. He kind of to show like how he just goes spinning like crazy to show how he's going very fast, like in the episode. So that's pretty fun. And then we have, um, I believe this one is Speedy Gonzalez, which yeah, it's not one of my favorites. Um, I don't really care for this one. I still like the way he cut, turned out. I really love those cheese pieces, which that's probably my favorite part about the minifigure. But other than that, I don't really care about him. I do not like the tail because I, I wish there was a white printing there. Because now that just looks weird with the brown in the middle. But still, it's an okay one. Petunia Pig, I don't really care about either. I don't really like this one. I think, you know, with only 12 figures, it means that they're very limited spots. I feel like they could have done something different, like Elmer Fudd. It would have been more fitting. He's more prominent than this minifigure. And honestly, I don't really care for this one. This is one of my least favorites. But um, still, I think she's okay. He's okay. She's okay, I guess. And there is Porky Pig, who is one of my favorites. I really love this design. It looks perfect. I think that, um, yeah, I really like the design, and I think that the sign looks pretty cool with that's all, folks. It <laughs> looks perfect. I like this one a lot. And who else are we missing? Wait, why don't they have images for Lola, for Lola Bunny, though? That's weird. Let's see. Oh, yeah, all that's missing is Lola Bunny. Well, yeah, <laughs> Lola Bunny, apparently she's, I don't know why she's not in any of these photos here, but whatever. She looks pretty nice. I actually really like how they made Space Jam characters too because she did first appear in Space Jam. And that's nice. I do wish she had an actual basketball print. But other than that, I think the minifigure looks fine. And um, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. And um, yeah, overall, I think this series is awesome. I really love the design of these minifigures. I love cartoony minifigures and this is full of that. So um, yeah, um, that's it for the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!